Hi, in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to just quickly show you how to fully customise text in Word, move it around and be quite creative with it, giving you full control over every element of the font and font sizes and colours. The first thing I'm going to do is just turn this page around to landscape. So I'm just going to go to the layout tab up here, go to the orientation icon, click on the drop down and click landscape. Just going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see the page a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the insert tab and I'm going to go along here to text box. Click on the drop down and click draw text box. Then I'm just going to quickly draw a text box. It doesn't matter what size to begin with because we can obviously fully customise it. So the first letter I'm going to type is C and I'm just going to highlight that letter, go to the home tab. And then I'm just going to use this up icon here, which is going to increase the size of my font. You can, however, just type in the value here if it's quicker and you know the size that you need. So I'm just going to increase the font here. Now I'm just going to go along here to the font menu, click on the drop down, and then just click a font of my choice. Actually, I'm going to go along and choose this one. And when we click off this text box, you'll see there's a border around this text box. In addition, the text box has actually got a white background as well, which we want to get rid of because some of the letters will overlap. So if we just highlight our text box, go up to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill, click on this drop down arrow and click No Fill. Go up to this element here, this icon here, click on the drop down and click no outline. Then when we click off we've just got this letter here so if I just click on my text box I can then move my letter anywhere on my page. So all I need to do now is simply copy and paste by command or control C, command or control V on my keyboard and I've now created a second letter and as you can see there's no background to this text box as I go over the top of this letter you can see that the background is fully transparent. So I double click inside my text box, press Command or Control A to highlight the letter, then I'm just going to type the letter R. Once again, I can go up to the Home tab. I can, of course, increase or decrease the size of my font again. So I'm just going to go up to the font and just change the font so that you can see how you can fully customise it for your needs. Now because that font has gone to the top of my text box, the great thing about these text boxes is you can just simply move that round any way you want to. And again if I double click Command or Control A, as I said before you can increase or decrease the size of that font to suit your needs. Let's come out of the text box and then we can just move that round any way we want. Again, Command or Control V, double click, Command or Control A, type the letter E. Again, go back up to the Home tab. And again, let's just move this letter to where we want it. Again, just paste another letter double click inside command or control A then we'll just change that now we need to highlight the letter click off the text box back on and then you can move it around command or control V to create another letter Double click, you will find some of the fonts are a little bit different, sometimes you just have to stretch out the text box, but because they're so versatile you can just simply move them around. Double click, Command or Control A to highlight everything.
Now once you've got all the letters that you want, you can move them around. Just by clicking and dragging. In addition to this, if you want them all to line up, if you press the command or control key, whilst you click on each letter and highlight the text box it's in, you can then go up to shape format at the top and then you can go along to this align tab here, click on the drop down and then you can either align to the top, the middle or the bottom. So if I align to the middle, what happens is that Word will line up each of these central boxes. Now because all the fonts are very different, they do fit in the text boxes in a slightly different way. So this particular method may not work for you. Once you have got all your letters in the right place and you're happy with the word, you can make this a complete word that you can move around anywhere in your document. So if I click and hold down the command or control key, click on each letter as we did before, go up to the shape format tab and go along to this icon here that says group. Click on the drop down and click group. What that's now done is grouped all of these letters together in one word. So I can now move the entire word round as one complete element. But don't worry, if I find that I need to go in and edit something, I then just go back up to the group icon and click ungroup. And that will ungroup all of the letters so you can move them around again as you see fit. In addition, of course, you can go in and change the colour of your fonts and letters. Just click on the text box, double click inside, command or control A, go to the home menu, and then if you use this icon here, then you've obviously got a selection of colours here, or alternatively you can click on more colours, and then you can just simply use the colour wheel to select a colour of your choice, click OK, and then your letter will change colour. If you want the text box around your letter to change, then just highlight the text box, go to Shape Format, go along to Shape Fill, click on the drop down and just select a colour of your choice. Now of course if your letter doesn't sit in the centre of your box you can double click on the text box, Command or Control A, go to the Home tab and click on this centre text icon and it will centre your letter into the middle of your text box. You can also adjust the margins of these text boxes. If you just go over to the menu on the right hand side, this menu will appear if you double click on your text box. Alternatively, if it doesn't appear, if you go up to shape format, and you can go along to this icon here that says format pane. Click on that and your menu will appear. What you can do is go to Shape Options and then go to this icon here. And then you can adjust all these different margins here. So if I wanted to reduce my top margin, I would just click on the drop down. And as you can see, my letters moved up. So I hope that's given you a little bit more information about how you can manipulate and customise text fully in Word. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.